What's up, fellas? God damn, I'm in a motherfucking good mood. For real. Look, you got beta males, which majority of y'all are. I say about 80% of you motherfuckers is beta males. Then you got an alpha male, about 10%. And then you got a sigma male. I'm a motherfucking proud sigma male. We're rare. I got balls, motherfucker. I do shit that you motherfuckers too scared to do. And I bring this up because I decided to come to Columbia, bounced on America, on every fucking thing. And I said, I'm gonna build a plane while I'm falling from that fucking sky. I'm gonna build the wings and everything. And I'm gonna land this ship. And I've landed this motherfucking ship. It wasn't easy. Cause I came over here without no fucking job, bro. My job was supposed to be selling life insurance. I still ain't got my license. I had to create shit when I got over here. So I hit the ground running. Remote work. I need to find a job. The money was just coming out of my pocket. I ain't on vacation. I'm here to fucking live. So thank God for native camp. Got my back. I'm teaching fucking English. I got it figured out where I'm pacing $1,000 a month. And keep in mind, $1,500 a month, they consider you rich around here. So now I got my other gig. Selling shipping containers. I ain't sold one yet. But let me tell you, I got 200 ads on Facebook. And my shit is fucking, like, I'm getting hits like a motherfucker. So it's Christmas time. We two days away from Christmas. I already know next year I'm about to kill it. Man, this company, 200 bucks. Every shipping container I sell. I got orders lined up. Four, five. Oh, I'll take six. All right, next next month, next month. Cool. January is gonna be a big year. So now I'm confident. I've landed the ship. I'm gonna be all right. And then when I get my life insurance license, that's gonna send me over the top. But I ran into some problems. And I'm gonna tell you about the problem. Cause my buddy Kyle was like, "Oh man, you need to do a video about you being about to be homeless in Colombia." Okay, so we're going to talk about that. So I got whacked. Whew. Pretty hard, too. $600. Uh, dispute I had going on with Wells Fargo. They swiped that money out of my account. And I needed that money to get another spot. But it's okay. Because I'm going to make it through. I was down to just $2 in my bank account. Okay, I actually learned how to count pesos, the change. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I done ran out of fucking weed. Hold on, actually I got this right here. Toothpaste, I haven't ran out of motherfucking toothpaste. Hold on, I even ran out of lotion. I ain't even got no fucking lotion, but it's okay. Cause I'm smiling. My sister hooked me up. And I said, sis, I just need to make it to the next payday. Shot me a couple hundred bucks. But my buddy Andy, one of my best friends, right? We talk every motherfucking day. Now Andy's a character. He's in his 60s and he wants to go back to being old school. Doing business like in the 1980s. Oh, I ain't gonna use no no technology. Dude collects rent on one of his lands, right? He goes, man, the guy was sending me the money on Zelle. I said, don't send me money on Zelle no more. Just send me a check by mail. I mean, old school. So I asked Andy, I said, Andy, bro, I, I, I'm i gonna need your help to uh, get another spot. Now this dude uh, sent me money before on PayPal, right? Just paid him back, I sent him like $2,000 on PayPal. He tells me a couple months ago, oh, the money disappeared. Fuck you mean the money disappeared? 
why would the money disappear? Where'd it go? Well, it ain't there. Okay, he goes, well, can you look into it? Well, what is there to look into, bro? Why wouldn't the money be there? Well, it ain't there. Well, did you ask PayPal? Yeah, well, PayPal said it wasn't there. Okay, so where'd it go? Did you withdraw the money? No excuse. And I know what he's doing. He's trying to convince me that PayPal's crooked. Here's the problem. I've been using PayPal for over 20 motherfucking years. I ain't never had a problem with PayPal. So I'm telling the dude, I say, he goes, well, you should have gave me the money cash. What the fuck, bro? Who does that? I sent you the money on PayPal, secure. The money there, you transferred. Oh, that's for now the dude well, won't even help me out with a couple hundred bucks. Talking about, I'm like, dude, you, you, you crazy with that shit. But it's okay. I'm making it through. I've landed this shit. So next month, I'm about to kill the fucking game. I'm ready to get rich again. Now, so those of you who don't know me, I started a car dealership during the recession in 2009. And when I decided to start that car dealership, I had a hundred motherfucking dollars to my name. Did I let money, not having no money, stop me from building it? No. I said, I'm going to do it, and I did it. Ended up generating millions. I think I had that dealership. We were selling an average of 25 cars a week. First time I've ever made over a million fucking dollars in a year. And I'm going to do that shit again. But I'm excited because I came here to Columbia, focused, took that risk, and I'm making it happen. So I'm gonna leave this beautiful spot. I leave here on the 26th. And I rented a room, five star little rating. The place I rented, she's happy to take my little dogs. And on my next paycheck, I'm gonna go ahead and get a bigger spot. So I'm gonna pause on my little chicks. Well, except for Lauren. Lauren wants to come hang out cool. But uh, soon, I'm gonna start shopping again for women. And I need to find me a helpmate. Because I got business ideas I need to implement. I got my chat GPT, I got my two dogs. And I'm gonna find me a nice, beautiful queen to help me out with all my other business ventures. And I'm going to be all right. So, I'm going to share with you the good, the bad, the ugly. But at the end of the day, even though I think I got about 18 bucks in my bank account. For now, I just did a transfer. I got some more money coming. But um, I'm happy to say that I built this plane. And I'm flying now. And I hit some rough waters. But I don't give a fuck. It's gonna be all right. I'm gonna sit here. Let me show. You, let me show you something. PlayStation. I don't play video games, but I bought this setup. Back, and today, and I bought this set. I bought this PlayStation probably about three or four years ago. I've only played it once. I said, eventually one day I'm gonna have enough time to be able to play my PlayStation. And you know what, today, I am finally gonna get to play my PlayStation. Because with my setup, I got my teaching gig, I wait for a student to come in, I got my Facebook ads going, I wait for a customer to hit me, and I can sit here and play video games, close some fucking deals, teach some motherfucking classes, and make dough. And I'm in Colombia. Every time I go outside, I see the most beautiful fucking women I've ever seen in my life. I got incredible weather. 
good fucking food. Everything's going to be all right. I just hit some rough waters. That shit happens. But is my life over? <laughs> nah, man. I'm just getting started. So now that I got cash flow coming in, I'm about to just live, live, fucking live. And I'm glad I took this risk. I'm glad I took this journey. And I'm going to rub that shit in everyone's fucking face. Period. Because while you motherfuckers over there in America, look at all them fat chicks. I'm over here looking at just gorgeous, gorgeous, just beautiful fucking life. And you know what? Lately, I've been thinking about going to go see Cali. Price my plane ticket, Cali, Columbia. Price my plane ticket. It's $47. Looked at some Airbnbs. I also want to check out Bogota. I also want to check out Cartagena. I am going to stick around with Medellin for a little while. Maybe another month. I love it here. There's, there's no rush to go off to any other places, but I still want to check them all out while I'm here. But I'm focused. I'm like, let me get it cracking. Let me get my income rolling. And now everything's rolling. And I'm just on one and excited. So, donate to the Cash App. I could use your donations, but I ain't gonna beg you motherfuckers for it. I ain't counting on it. But, you wanna help a pimp out? My Cash App is right there going across the stream. Yeah. Marijuana. You know, I could use it, but if not, whatever. I'm trying, my goal is now, let me see, 1500 was my goal. I'm $500 away from hitting that. I sell a couple of shipping containers, I'll be there. Once I hit that $1,500 a month goal, I'm gonna raise it up to $3,000. Once I hit that $3,000 goal, I'm gonna raise it up to $6,000 a month, and so on and so on. And I'm seriously about the fucking ball over in these other countries. I will check with y'all back in a few days. Once I check into my other Airbnb, I'm excited to see this woman's place. She has like 20 five-star reviews on this spot. So I just rented it for a week. I've enjoyed having uh, my own place. I've always rented rooms or rented out rooms. So renting a room doesn't bother me at all. Hell, I might just like it there and stay there even longer. We'll see. but. I have enjoyed having my own spot. So I'm just going to ride it through for the next couple of weeks. And I'm happy to be back on track. Yeah, Wells Fargo did me a job. That's 600. That's like over two grand over here. So, but whatever. It's just money. I ain't fucking tripping. Life goes on. Hopefully my buddy Andy, we, we good friends, right? But, uh. He got to pull his head out of his ass over that fucking retarded ass shit. He's got my all you should have gave me cash. You should have just brought it to my office. Fuck you and your old school ass thinking. I ain't old school. I'm fucking new school. I push buttons to make shit happen. I ain't going to be like your little tenant fucking. So I got to go to the post office and get a money order and put a stamp on the envelope and mail it off to Andy. That shit ain't going to happen with me, motherfucker. Anyway, I'm going to holler at y'all later. I'm actually going to play my PlayStation. I think I got some fucking Call of Duty, too. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy this PlayStation and sit here the rest of the day and make some fucking money. I'll start our way, y'all.